Yeah, it's quite interesting to look back and and realize that I was a very lucky young film student back in the 1980s because I actually met uh, both Lino Broca and Ismael Bernal, and not only just met them; they become uh, a close acquaintance. You know, we uh, we were together in international film festivals, in forums, in panels, in outreach programs. But previous to that, I was this, you know, uh, young starting out filmmaker, you know, doing short films, and I was lucky to listen to them, you know, uh, give lectures. They would uh, uh, give their time to do uh, you know, uh, talks in the film workshops, in the seminars that would be held in the UP Film Center. Eventually, you know, other institutions like the Cultural Center would have an outreach program. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky enough to, to have listened to them very early on, you know, and then eventually even getting to know them. You know, Lina Broca was very supportive of the young filmmakers, and in fact, I have to say, he, he actually gave me my break to, to attend the very first uh, International Film Festival, uh, where my short films were screened, you know, as a program. It was in 1986. Lina Broca was, in fact, one of our inspirations, if, if we can call our generation a movement on its own, you know, because I do call it as a legitimate movement. It was a movement of filmmakers who did not necessarily want to be a major part of the movie industry. Not to say that it was against that industry, but, but basically trying to create a cinema on its own, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the key word wasn't really independent. The independence was only uh, part and parcel of it. I, I think the key word really was alternative. We were creating an alternative mm -hmm. cinema. And I always believe that our inspirations from the mainstream, you know, like Ismael Bernal, Mike De Leon, and Lino Broca from the 70s, you know, uh, they were legit independent filmmakers. That's exactly what they were trying to do in the 70s. They were finding other ways and other means to produce their own films mm -hmm. within the system, within the industry. Whereas our generation who was inspired by them mm -hmm. thought we would do our own cinema underground or outside of that, you know, so that it can actually coexist. That's why I always say alternative is the key word there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I was very lucky to have met uh, Ismail Bernal. Mm -hmm. uh, even just right after my very first short film. You know, when I made my short film in 1983 for the UP Film Center uh, Cinema as Art Workshop, uh, I, I was invited to his house for a special dinner with the Manunuri. And that made me really very nervous, you know, with my very first short film. They wanted to see my short film. They, they wanted a kind of like a private viewing. I believe it was a time when uh, the movie industry was really beginning to recognize that there was something significant happening, you know, in this so-called underground or independent or alternative mm -hmm. cinema. Uh, at the very least, to to a lot of uh, uh, film practitioners, you know, movie industry uh, workers, they would possibly look at it more uh, as a, you know. A, an educational factor for cinema you know it's it's a breeding ground for new filmmakers with who will eventually uh, go into the movie industry mm. but at the same time you would have people like Lino Broca or Smell Bernal who recognizes the the core essence of what alternative is you know that that these filmmakers do not necessarily aim to be part of the mainstream that they were trying to create cinema on their own and that this cinema as small as it may seem was legitimate eventually when i went back to short film in 1999 and 2000 to do anino mm -hmm. uh, i always admitted that it was actually a, a kind of a homage to Manila sa mga kuko ng diwana uh, when i started the film in fact the title was Manila really? and and what triggered that emotion in me to do this film was in fact uh, having seen Maynila sa mga Diwanag again 
1999 when when they were able to restore a print of it you know and i i saw um, a restored print that came from the british film institute and i, I saw it twice I, I believe it was shown in in manila and then it was uh, shown again at the busan film festival uh, which i happened to be attending that year and i was just so in, uh, you know um, affected by the fact that you know seeing this film from 1975 it's almost as if nothing has changed for the country and so i i, I felt i wanted to express that and anina was the result of that